Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Klaus, this is my house, and today we're going to be doing some more Fallout 4 tips and tricks. Now, I had received a comment and somebody asked in dire need, can you make bunk beds in Fallout 4? And I thought to myself for a second, I don't see why not, and I just kind of said you can probably do it with the, um, the wire fence posts or something like that. And someone else then followed up, and rightly so, commented, no, you can't really do it, you need a, you need a mod. But, but, it only counts as one bed. And I thought to myself, that's kind of like cheating. You know, I'm going to go and see if I can't prove to myself and to everybody else that you can make a bunk bed. Not that it's going to be pretty, but that you can do it. So, what we're going to start out with today is these small little wood floors. This is much easier to do outside, by the way. So, if you can kind of extrapolate this tutorial, uh, you know, to that circumstance, then it's kind of much easier to see what's going on. But essentially, I'm just going to lay this this foundation out for myself and we're going to do that. And this is basically going to be where I want to place my beds. Now, I have two real beds for this that I, I kind of prefer. Uh, either this kind of fuller large bed or just the mattress itself. And the reason why I do that is because I think that it fits nicely in the center. Like You can see that there's pretty much plenty of room and you can center it really nice and, and we have plenty of room to build around this bed. We can even kind of shift it towards the front. I'm not gonna give totally uh, everything away about this, this endeavor at the moment, but we will set the beds aside. But that's pretty much why I picked either one of those, just because they fill it out nicely. Like I said, it's not gonna be the prettiest thing in the world, but it will work. Uh, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to a concrete shack foundation. Now again, I haven't really tried it inside a whole lot, but I'm pretty sure people will be able to get up to the uh, up to the, the top that we're basically going to do. So what we want to do is we want to get as close as possible as we can to those little wooden guys there. And we just place our floor. Uh, not, not as good as I was hoping. And we'll try and go down with it if we can maybe. All right, we want it to be about like camera height. I don't know if you just look straight. It should be about uh, even with eye level. Now, I know that's kind of hard to tell because if you just look up or down, or it, it, it kind of depends, but you want it to be relatively at that height. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to place this small floor on the top like so. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, Klaus, that doesn't leave me a whole lot of room to do anything. And, you know, for the most part, sir, you are correct, or madam. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to remove that shack foundation. Now, it looks super cheap, right? These things are just they are just floating. What the hell's going on with that? And it's all fine and dandy, ladies and gentlemen. Just, uh, you know, stay, stay calm and carry on and all that good stuff. Uh, so I do find this easier if you're farther away because the game has a tendency to want to put these things like on top, which is which is fine, I suppose. Um, I'm not really complaining about it too much. And we might as well place that one there on the top just to kind of give you a better idea as to what's going on. Uh, and I'll just do the, uh, the mattress again. And essentially what we want is we just keep looking at the ground. Now you can see my actual cursor is very much off of the... Uh, the actual sh shoot, <laughs> damn it, damn it. It's very much off of the uh, the shack foundations. Uh, and you basically have to do that to kind of like pull it down to the bottom. You can see here, it wants to place it on top until we pull it down and then it pops up for us. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing there. Oh, you, nope, not you. There you go, get, get, there you go. Get where you need to go, sir. All right, you know, it started to get dark so I had to go put some of these lights in so people don't be complaining to me about not being able to see my tutorial, which you should. It's a very bad practice to build in the dark, especially on this gray wall with like these kind of grayish brown things. It's just lame. Anyways, the next section of our build is going to be these uh, fence posts over here. Uh, and I don't know, I prefer the other one. This one you can see kind of has that like angle thing at the bottom and it, it's kind of fine and all if it's like in the ground but you can see that it actually lays on top of there so it just looks funny it just looks funny but it does uh this does bring up my next point which is why we place that concrete floor about eye height 
And uh, it's basically because we need to place these. Now they will clip into the floors and whatnot. So we're all good there. But as you can see, it's about the same height. So we could have gone up. You can even probably go lower. I just wanted to you know, give enough room for the people that are gonna be sleeping in that lower bunk there. But this is pretty much what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go all the way around these four edges and uh, and just kind of fill this sucker in. Just, just you know. Ever so slightly. We're going to put in our... Uh... Oh, yeah. I should have spun the other one. This one's going to look better. Here we go. So, essentially, we have ourselves our little bit of a bunk bed here. Now, that's all fine and dandy if you're the guy going to sleep on this bottom one, right? But um, what about the person on the top? They're going to need a, they're gonna need a way to get up there. For sure. So, there's a couple ways. And um, I don't know. I, I kind of want to leave this up to you guys. The way that I've been doing it... and. I don't find it cheap necessarily, but it's just with this little staircase here. And I could probably even extend this little mini floor over so it doesn't look like it's hanging out too much, but you can no problem get right up there. Uh, so essentially guys, this is the way that it can be if you want it to be. Now, the other way to do it, I'm thinking that would maybe make it look a little bit nicer is if you use these posts and just put them all the way around the border. But for the most part, this is going to give you a pretty decent setup. Now, the one thing I'm going to do before we go is show you what it looks like with the other beds. All right, so like before, this one requires a little bit of finagling to make sure that it, uh, it gets in there. So I'm going to push it away a little bit. And like I said, that just helps when you start to pull it down. It just allows you to really, really get where you want to go. Now, it's going to be kind of judging by the feel. Um, just because you probably won't be able to see it, depending. Uh, the top one, though, shouldn't be uh, all that bad. And essentially, we're just going to place it like that. So there you go. Um, I mean, to me, I personally think that the mattress just looks better and maybe is more realistic, um, at least just for the bottom, because this doesn't really leave a, a lot of room for the person on the bottom. So like, let's say they have a nightmare, they're just going to go boom, smack their head right here on the floor and that's not going to feel too good but essentially um these are bunk beds but kind of like the power video i wanted to find a way that you could stack the beds that would make it more space efficient now um you could argue that this is not really super space efficient because you have the ladder here and i probably could place these two beds right there but let's think for a second if i had like a whole array like i could then extend these um, floors over that way two spaces and then I could have four beds in this place that I would normally only be able to have two. So I think there's some pluses and minuses to this method. Uh, really it is going to be whatever you guys decide to make it. So this is going to be our bunk beds guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial series and um, yeah I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.